Hello. Hi. So, you okay? My name is Jürgen and I'm here to answer your questions. Who's your favorite football player of all time? I actually don't have really a favorite football player, but my father gave me the advice when, when I was very young. Whatever somebody will tell you in the future, don't forget, Pelé is the best. So, Pelé. I read a book about him. You read a book about Pelé? I met him once in my life. I'm not often nor nervous, to be honest. But in this moment, I was really shaking because he's a wonderful person. If you don't know exactly who it is, you can Google it. Um, I'm a soccer player and my team tends to go to a lot of penalty shootouts. What advice would you give to a young player who's about to take a penalty kick? Whew. Have a plan, make sense, maybe. So there is an ankle in the goal where the goalkeeper cannot, cannot reach the ball. So and you can train it to shoot there. The problem is the pressure you feel in a penalty shootout. So, um, I shot not too many penalties in my life, but I didn't miss one. And I was not a really good football player. The only thing is when, you, when you're not able to do too many different things, it's easier. It's only football and stick to your plan. I have a second question. We are at the Levi Stadium, home of the San Francisco 49ers. Um, do you know how many Super Bowls 49ers uh, won? I'm from Europe. Huh? We don't watch American football too much. Um, I watched a few Super Bowls and I know about a few. I'll give you a hint. It's the same amount of times that Liverpool has won the Champions League. Then five times? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Obviously a big club here. Huh? <laughs> Watching Liverpool play at Anfield is on my bucket list. Can you name three things on your American bucket list? Yeah. Watching Super Bowl final live. Watching NBA final live, but I already did it on my bucket list too, is watching a baseball game live because I have absolutely no idea why people watch it, but so many people watch it, so, they're, they're, so I have to feel it. I have a pet tortoise named Kloppo. Yes, Kloppo. Do you have a pet? Yes, a dog. We have a dog and her name is Emma. Most, That's my most, name. It's your name. It's Emma too. <laughs> Look, the most beautiful dog in the world, Collie Mix. Collie mix. When I was young, it was a famous, famous dog on television called Lassie. It was a collie, the smartest dog in the world. She's so cute uh, and the center of our family. So everybody is in love with her. I love pets and especially dogs. Hey, Jurgen, I'm nine years old. And what would you give your nine year old self? Yeah, it's a good question. So the answer is with the perspective from now, stay cool. Everything will be good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now I'm here, you ask me questions, weather's perfect. I'm manager of Liverpool Football Club, so a few things went really well. So I'm quite thankful for this. My second question is, what would it mean to you to bring back the league title back to Liverpool after so many years? Everything, to be honest, it would, it would mean everything. Being successful, really successful in a league title would be really successful with a great club like Liverpool. Yeah, would be 100% one of the greatest thing I ever could have imagined. Who knows more about football, the U.S. men's team, coach Jurgen Klinsmann or Jurgen Klopp? <laughs> I don't know. The soccer here in the U.S., for sure, Jurgen. Um, we met a few times. Uh, I like him pretty much, so he's a nice guy. But it's, thank God, not a battle. Yeah, so we can, be, we can be good in this both at the same time because we manage different teams. Can you do a storage dance? Is it something <laughs> like this? Something like this? You like it? Uh, I cannot stop, that's the problem. When you start a storage dance, try it. You cannot stop, come on, try it. You cannot stop, try it. You cannot stop, try it. And when you do it long enough, then you can fly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a question, but, but I would like you to say boom. Boom. Yeah. If you were trying to convince an American with no club allegiances to choose Liverpool as their favorite EPL team, what would you say? It's the best club in the world. So it's quite easy if you know nothing about football. It's cool about with Americans. Most of them have no idea about football. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, you can convince them still. So if you are born as a I don't know, as a Borussia Dortmund fan, it's quite difficult to say, come on, 
come to us. Liverpool is a, uh, is a, is a better club. But if you're open, if you're young, and if you start loving football, and if you start um, understanding about the game, and when you really think then about, then I, th I think there are not a, not a lot alternatives to Liverpool FC, actually. If you're a fan of another club, I have to say it's okay too. But if you want to be a fan of the, re of the club, then it's Liverpool FC. My mom shouts at my dad for falling asleep on the couch, but he tells her Jurgen Klopp likes power naps. Is that right? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> can, your father told your mother. Yeah. How can I convince my school to let me have a sleep during lessons? Yeah, look, that's the wrong. That's the wrong way. Not during lessons. Between lessons, when? When I take the power nap, not, not when I have actually training or something. So I take it. That's right. When I, when I have time, then you're fresh again for the next wonderful mathematic lesson. I heard that you went to see Celine Dion in Las Vegas. How can you explain that decision? That was quite easy. <laughs> that was quite easy because my, my, my wife Ulla loves Celine oh, Dion. Uh, okay. So we, we joined her. Our two sons were with us. When she started singing, Ulla immediately started crying. And he's, actually, she's not that emotional. We were all three boys were really surprised and thought, oh, what happened now? But it was a great concert and she's yeah. a fantastic singer and um, no, we had a lot of fun in that night. Okay, yeah. thanks. Thank you. What is your favorite American sport and why? Basketball. Basketball, I love it. I cannot, I cannot believe that these giants move like kids. And they are so flexible, run like this. I saw, I saw all seven finals um, of the, um, the last season and I was really impressed again. This big, big man, Six, seven foot something, and run like you. Yeah, that's really great. I have great. another question. Good. And you are not too. Did you ever send the players to Alcatraz if they misbehaved? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And that was only a joke. I, I, I know I, I made the joke, but it was only a joke. Nobody should have been afraid about this. So nobody should stay there longer than necessary. Thank you for being here. It was a great pleasure. Really nice. It's the most beautiful um, bunch of journalists I ever met in my life. Thank you, Emma. Yeah. Hi. No, oh, you're a little bit late. Who are you planning on getting next in the transfer market? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's no actual plans, and if there would be a plan, unfortunately, I cannot speak here about it. That's how it is. You are all journalists, so sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Big pleasure.